developed by Tarsier Studios, published by Bandai Namco Entertainment in 2017. Little Nightmares. Hey, this is Chris at Talon Gaming. Welcome back to another video review. Little Nightmares is a 2.5D platformer puzzle game. Set in a creepy, punishing world, you play as Six, a hungry little girl who must escape the Maw, an iron vessel inhabited by monstrous and twisted beings. Despite the main characters being children, this one is not for kids. The complete edition includes five chapters and three additional DLC chapters, which I will cover briefly after the review is complete. Little Nightmares uses the Unreal 4 engine, which not only allows for fantastic looking games, but is easy on the game requirements. The game only really needs 4 gigs of RAM and a modern dual core CPU to enjoy. A GTX 460 or equivalent is required and make sure you have at least 10 gigs of free storage. Let's talk about some of the main aspects and areas of the game. Puzzles are the main attraction in Little Nightmares. For the most part, you'll be interacting with the environment in order to escape the maw while using your lighter as an aid in low light conditions or to light lanterns and candles. You can climb, swing, run, jump, push, pull, and otherwise manipulate switches and levers, and much more. The majority of the puzzles are not particularly difficult to solve and are straightforward with a little bit of analytical thinking. It does help that during your quest you can shift the camera around to see a little more of what's around you to help you find a monster or follow a power line to its source. Hint, hint. Monsters consist of hideous and grotesque pig-looking humanoids, gangly-looking long-armed blind men, leeches, and one freaky-ass geisha. They all want to eat, capture, or kill you, so to avoid capture at all costs. During every chapter, you will, at a specific point, fall ill to your hunger and need to eat before passing out. These are some of the more morbid themes of the game, as what you will do in order to feed yourself will quite surprise you. Enjoy. You'll get a real sense of scale in your playing of the little nightmares. The character is small and the monsters appear huge and everything you interact with feels absolutely massive. In the first chapter of the game you'll be moving around the ship, mostly unimpeded and focused solely on the puzzles and getting acclimated to the environment. Once the first chapter is complete, the gloves really come off. You'll need to avoid the janitor with his long extended arms throughout offices, bedrooms and library type settings. You'll later find yourself in the midst of the kitchen where you find two very angry, large, ugly looking chefs preparing to feed the mass of beasts on board. Later in the dining hall, you'll come face to face with some hungry, monstrous animal looking folks who want nothing more to gorge themselves and will actively try to use you as an appetizer. In the final chapter of the game, you'll find yourself in the residence where the geisha, the host, resides. This setting looks more like a cross between a series of dressing rooms and living spaces, but tread lightly. While they don't really impact the outcome of the game, there are a few challenges and achievements to aim for to make things a little more interesting. They consist of breaking vases, hugging gnomes, and lighting lanterns and candles. So keep an eye out for these items while you play. Let's get to the review. Graphical textures are reminiscent of something out of a Tim Burton movie. The Nightmare Before Christmas comes to mind with all its claymation goodness. Animations are smooth and natural feeling. The cutscenes are, while well, there's no true cutscenes, but the in-game stuff does go out of the player's control and looks as great as the rest of the game. A few instances of clipping were noticed, but are forgivable in the grand scheme of things. Sound effects are pretty good and feel accurate for the game environment. The little music that is present is quite good and feels like a cross between a children's lullaby and something out of a horror movie. The atmosphere here is fantastic. The background noises and ambiance really help to put you in the middle of the story. While there isn't much of a story per se, what you do get is dropped into the middle of a living nightmare on the Maw. The game is filled with violence, gore, and some very obscure and disturbing imagery. Throughout the game you see evidence of children being kidnapped, kept in cages, and eaten. Controls can be a little awkward at times using the keyboard. Those using a controller may find things a little easier. Getting hung up and caught by creatures simply for getting stuck or plummeting to your death is something that happened to me a fair number of times. The control mechanics aren't perfect. The game is still extremely fun and entertaining and doesn't take too long to get situated. The puzzles aren't overly challenging, but they will make you think outside the box for answers as things aren't always exactly as they appear. Realistically, you're looking at about an hour for each chapter of the game and the included 3 DLC in the complete edition, so about 8 hours in total for a single playthrough. 
I don't think you'd play this one over and over again unless you want to show your friends what kind of cruel sadistic games you enjoy, but the in-game challenges and achievements may make it worthwhile to give it a second go. All in all, I really enjoyed my time with Little Nightmares. I literally laughed out loud, I cringed in horror, and screamed at my computer screen in anger. This one will definitely get your heart pumping one way or another. It's not a fast-paced game, but sometimes a change of pace is more than welcome. For the amount of playtime you will get from it, I'm not sure I would pay full price, but when it's on a Steam discount, it really is a can't miss. If you like solving puzzles, survival horror, want a change of pace, or a bit of a sadist, then you'll want to give Little Nightmares a chance. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. As promised, here's a little preview of each of the three DLC chapters included in the Complete Edition. The Depths. As the title suggests, you'll find mostly water-based puzzles, obstacles, and monsters. Look to use the water as both an escape and as a solution to various puzzles. Avoid the granny. The Hideaway. This one is where you really get to befriending the gnomes, who together will help you solve the puzzles. Once you've made some tiny little friends, they will become an invaluable part of your journey. And last but not least, The Residence. This is home to arguably the most difficult puzzles in the entire game. While it's not entirely difficult in its own right, the puzzles do require a fair bit of thought, more than anything previous in the game. It's quite interesting, and a genuine challenge. As always, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to let us know what you think. This is Chris from Talent Gaming, signing out.